I think they're ready to go. All right, I'm getting a thumbs up. Here we go. In three, two, one, go! And there they go in heat number one. And oh my goodness, immediate U-turns. Jovi is sprinting clear. Out of the gate came Maggie. Jovi, a five-length winner. There is Maggie just crossing the line. And look at everyone just hanging around the starting gate. We've got the five. That's Daphne who's on the loose. Then comes, it looks like Stella is looking for the turf. Also, Arlo might be making a left-hand turn. Most of them are just hanging out with one another. But the Basset Hounds will be running across the line. Their family members chasing them as well. Molly Dolly, this might be my favorite Basset Hound to start the day. Molly Dolly, the number 10, is just sauntering across the racetrack right now. Look at that. She is a mood. Molly Dolly is an absolute mood right now. Look at the 10 just coming <laughs> across the racetrack. Come on, Molly Dolly. You got this. Oh, Molly Dolly. I think she's trekking the track condition. It's a fast main track in the winner's circle. So it looks like Jovi. I want to say that's the 12, Maggie. And then it looks like the 8 in Gracie May. So it looks like we've got Jovi, Gracie May, and Maggie will be moving on to the finals from heat number one. Heat number two is next. It's there. They love the hilarious commentary coming from the booth as our field is lining up. We do have a runner that is getting carried over there. That was Blue T. Bassett who loves cheese, so might be more into the cheese than the race at this point, but we got a field of 12. Purebred, heat number two. Starter is getting them ready. This is very official. We have the Basset Hounds at the line. I'm waiting for the thumbs up, and we'll send them on their way. Okay, they're gonna do it themselves. And there goes the three. It's Archie, who's well clear. Archie, Jade, Archie, Jade, Vanellope Von Graham. That's a no doubter there. Archie, Vanellope Von Graham. And it looked like Jade was in that mix. Jade listed as 479 pounds in the program. We do have some of the Basset Hounds making a right turn now. They've steered clear of the turf course. Hadrian was in there, Princess Fiona. Princess Fiona is waving at the crowd. I gotta say, there's something with the 10 Basset Hounds right now because Blue T Basset also some Basset Hounds just want to play. Some are going for the race. Some of them just looking to hang out. We'll see the top three contenders in heat number two. Vanellope Von Graham. Vanellope loves playing baseball with her brothers Robbie and Rowan. There's more Basset Hounds. Archie was the winner of that heat. Actually had heart surgery at 10 months old. Way to go, Archie and Jay. Basset Hound races continue. We've still got plenty of heats, and we got the finals coming up later on. Sassy Blue looks ready to rock, I gotta be honest. Looks like they're ready. Oh, and there they go! I told you Sassy Blue was ready, and Bridget, Sassy Blue, Bridget, Sassy Blue tries to contact Bridget through the lane. Bridget, unfazed, Sassy Blue, arms up and triumphant. Cricket, I believe, was third. Then came the trend of the tens. Flash is, uh... Slowly hanging out with the rest of the crew. Flash is there. Huckleberry is totally hanging out as well. Huckleberry and Jethro have decided to team up with one another. Later on, I think we'll have our maybe top three trainers in the standings also get on the podium. We can get Ness, Linder, and who we got? See the Morris Kernan silks, the Cassius King silks. Look at all of our top jockeys here trackside. And they're off, and look at them go. It's the one Spiro right there with the eight. Franklin D. Longfellow, Spiro. Wow, that might be the fastest time. Spiro is well clear. Franklin D. Longfellow. Here comes Rocket. Rocket finishes third. Spiro has made it onto the turf course, which is always a concern during Basset Hound Racing. And Spiro is now taking a right, and this is going to be the exciting 30 seconds here of the Basset Hound races, as Spiro doesn't know who any of these people are. Spiro has taken that left turn and has now been captured. Take fella. I gotta say, Frankie just caught Franklin. I mean, we, we can't write this stuff any better, can we? Frankie can do it all. Riding double, and then he just collars Franklin D. Longfella, who is the fastest counter surfer in the nation.
Hertz catching Spiro on the turf course. Podium will be moved. I believe that's 1812. So we'll get that finalized. Get those runners in the heats that you just saw. And we got more fun coming up in the Basset Hound races. And they're off. And Daisy Esposito, very good, very fast, very left. Here comes up on the outside, Mama Daisy Esposito. I told you, just wanted to save ground at the rail. Daisy Esposito makes the right turn. Looked like Toby was in there as well. I think Mama actually ended up winning that heat. Now James Earl Jones is crossing the line. Looks like there's Ricky. Ricky's gotten across as well. I will say the cute factor is fantastic. Goofy is back. Here's Goofy along the rail. Goofy is sprinting. The race has long been over, but Goofy is still running towards his family member. And there he goes. Well, Mama. So that was Mama, Daisy, and Toby. Toby has been the number one, wow, the number one Basset Hound in NADAC agility three out of the last four years. Toby, well done. And they're off. There they go. Chico right out to the front. There's Darwin to the inside. It's Darwin, Lucy, Lou, and up on the outside, Emma Jean. Darwin, Lucy, Lou, Emma Jean. Chico's in that mix as well. Then came Obi-Wan Kenobi. Not making it to the final. Chico is running circles around the competition and the human beings that are trackside as well. Chico, the three. The ten. There's Scout. I will say the entertainment factor from the Basset Hounds that have been wearing the number 10 has been uh, second to none. They have been fantastic. Therapy dog with over 160 visits. She loves swimming in her pool, traveling, and visiting the ocean. Wow, Emma Jean does it all, the nine. One, four, and nine in heat number six. Seven, and they're off. Look at them go. Delilah and Buddy Boo right out to the front. Oh, no. Buddy Boo gets the win. Delilah was distracted by Miles. We got to go to the stewards on that one. Look like Miles ran right up on heels there. Tried to distract Delilah for a moment. I think it worked. Well, I don't see a, a number there, so that complicates things for me. Starting to kind of look around. Again, great job by our crew in the yellow shirts there, keeping an eye on the turf course. For our final heat, we'll see who's going to end up winning. And they're off. Look at him go. Sally Long Dog right out to the front. There's Ellie May to the inside. And sprinting is Commander Waffles. Commander Waffles. Commander's Waffles. <laughs> Commander Waffles splitting rivals was looking for the competition. Sally Long Dog was in there with Ellie May. That was a 12-4-3, I do believe. Watson, 4-3-12. Ellie May is an AKC registered therapy dog with over 160 visits. She loves swimming in her pool and traveling and visiting the ocean. Being brought back, Watson at 60 pounds, coming back across the turf course. Our starter, Brian Kraft, is going to send them on their way. It's going to be to the roar and the bark of the Ben Salem crowd here for the Basset Hound races, the mixed final. It all comes down to this. It's all on the line. Who will be the victor? So much excitement. Sam is facing the wrong way. Sam is in the six hole, jumping on his family member. This could hurt Sam at the start. Bridget looks ready, and they're off, and there they go, Sassy Blue, and here comes Buddy Boo in between Rodgers and Delilah. Oh! Whoa, that is close. That was close. That was Buddy Boo, the five, Delilah, the eight. I think the photo finish is going to come up on the screen. I think it was the five. It's between the five and the eight. Who do you guys think got it out there? I thought, th I thought the five, too. A lot of pressure on photo finish right now. I think it was the five. Cameraman thinks it's the five. It was the five and the eight for sure.
Probably would have been probably would have been a better idea for me to stand on the finish line. That's a good note. Five eight five eight five. Oh man, that's close. Wow, look at the cameras. Look at the attention. We love our basset hounds. Oh, it's just a trophy. All right, where's where's the other two contenders? Where Delilah's in there, finished second, right? Buddy Boo, the mix winner. All right, we got a full field of 12. Come on, guys, let me hear one more big cheer, roar, scream, excitement. Here we go. And they're off, and Jovi is sprinting clear to the inside. Jovi, they're all chasing Jovi. Jovi! One, five, nine. One, five, nine was the result there. Jovi, the favorite, wins the race. Can you believe what just happened? It was amazing. Jovi is the winner. Jovi was on camera earlier, so I'm glad we had Jovi in studio. Jovi's the winner. Congratulations. There's a trophy. There's the roses. Also gets to just play ball. Jovi taking all the pictures. Congratulations. Also, congratulations to Spyro. I'm glad I came down here and got your name right. Named after Spyro the Dragon, right? See, I got a memory. I know what I know what I'm doing. Darwin also racing from the PTHA as well. To the connections. Hope you guys had a great time. Enjoy the family fun still.